In this video, let's have a look at a special type of the random walk, which we call a random walk with drift. Now, in the previous video, we discussed the property of the random walk, the simple random walk model, where we would have just the correlation between the current value and the previous value of the sales equals to one, right? That slope coefficient, which is the same as the correlation coefficient in this case, the autocorrelation would be equal to one. And the best predictor of sales at a certain period would be equal to sales in the previous period because whatever deviations we will have in the future of sales are gonna happen randomly due to the error term. Now, this is a similar example, but the only thing that we're having, we're adding a constant in the model and let's see why that is the case. So let's say we have this beta zero, which is gonna be the constant that we add in the model. Everything else is still the same. We're gonna have, we're gonna have this beta one equals to one. So the slope coefficient uh, of sales in the previous period is gonna be equal to one. How do we interpret this? With the same logic as we interpreted that the sales in the previous period was the best predictor for sales in the current period. Now the best predictor will be the sales in the previous period plus the constant. So best predictor, best predictor for sales best predictor for for sales at time t is equal to the constant plus the sales at times t plus one uh, t minus one beta zero plus sales at t minus one what is this beta zero telling us beta zero is increasing the value of sales at t minus one why would that be the case that would be the case if there is a pattern for sales to increase over time but not with a very defined trend so over here we have this example sales across time you see this yellow line goes up we could say it's an upward trend but it's not a clear trend it's not constantly go going up it's going up slightly um, you know slowing down a bit going up again slowing down a bit and so on so the trend is not very defined but the tendency the pattern is to still go up so when we include this beta zero what we're saying is that in the future whatever value we had in the past plus a bit extra is gonna predict the value in the future so if we're at t here if we're at this value let's say this is year 2012 to have sales in 2013, we're gonna have the, the effect or basically the sales that we had in 2012 plus a bit more. That extra more is gonna give us this drift effect. The tendency of going up, that's the idea. That's what's happening behind the scenes. And with the same logic, we can reason for all the, re all, all the future values of sales. The reason we are including the constant is to adjust the upward tendency of sales to increase over time. But because the trend is not very well defined, then that's all we can do. We just include a constant. In the next video, in the next video, uh, we're going to see the example where we have a random walk with a defined trend.